Hey ladies and gents, welcome to the first look of the new Peugeot 408. This is the also plug-in hybrid. It's a uh, sort of a, not a sedan, but you're gonna see it. It is beautiful. I'm showing you the white model. Today was the press day. <laughs> it's closing time, but so crowded I couldn't film. So you can see the beautiful front uh, looks amazing. It's just like the 308. Uh, you have the two lenses on the top, data running lights that turn into turn signals. Uh, we have the grille in the color of the vehicle with the strikes. Uh, this is the GT pack. Uh, the shield is the radar. You have the uh, front and rear camera. So just a little different perspective. You have different alloys, uh, matte finish and black finish. But uh, yeah. So these are quite large. I love the caps here. So you can't really see the entire dimension to be honest. But I would say maybe this is like 19, 20 inch. You have the plastic protection front and going all the way around to the rear. Actually, excuse me, this is a 360 parking system. Uh, side contrasting metallic black mirrors, panel roof tinted have the piano black skirt underneath, tinted rear windows, black shark fin. This is not a window, but you see that. Uh, over here you have lock on lock. You can pop the plastic. There's a physical cylinder for the driver's side in case you put into a full battery. Over here you have a blind spot warning there. There is a AC outlet here for charging. And then if we come here, you can see the beautiful 408 electric, well, half electric. You can see the fog lights and the bumper. Uh, I'm not sure why they went with a all plastic design. There's a little piano black, a little washer nozzle and rear camera, LED license plates. I'm gonna pop the front, excuse me. Uh, we're gonna pop the back. You can see the whole car. Uh, I know the lights are kind of dark blue, so I choose the white car. Over here you can see uh, we have a lock to adjust the height, hard top, the key could not be removed, I think. This is plain. And over here you have grocery hooks, you can knock down the seats. There's a strap here, full outlet, and a LED light on both ends, sorry for the beeping sound. We have straps here. Net here on the right, grocery hooks, and LED on both ends. Seats knocked down 60-40, you can open from the inside, middle opening. Four fingers of height to the loading area, nice aluminum doorstep. And over here, we have a amplifier. There's also this, so you can pull this little hook over there. And you can see how that looks with the plug-in hybrid. Press to close. Now this is beeping as the guys are checking that. So that is the look. Now it's the fuel cap. Let's get to the other side. So I'm gonna be quick. Good opening and closing sound. Now they've changed the lights. Uh, luckily, I'm gonna do another walk around from the outside. So V is factory tint, our plastic have focal speakers, nice plastic that looks like aluminium. We have the contrasting green and gray tones. This is soft and covered by leather. So single glazed window, doesn't go all the way down. Some speaker there, a little bottle area there. You can see those. And we knock down the seats here. So the seatbelt is in the way, you can see the cargo space. Nicely profiled seats, have big cushions, isofix points in there. And you can see, okay, feet room, knee room. And that here, this is plastic key, this is a leather, AC vents, USB-C for media and fast charging. 
transmission tunnel isn't that uh, tall, but it's a bit wide. This is comfy, and you can see big long window, a bit narrow overview on the rear. You can adjust this, of course, and over here you have the adjustable cup holders. This is Rob Rice. You can push this down. Let's hear the closing sound. Solid. View at the front, same as the 308. Find the roof there. There are touch lights here and here. And handles over here, no hooks. And they try to maximize the space here. Now let's see two meter tall person. Uh, yeah, it's a problem, but um, if I was average, it would be okay. Let's get on the front because my phone battery is gonna die as well. And over here, you can see not adjustable seat belt, but get into the front, open and close. Once again, uh, front doors open wider. This is softly padded, you have ambient lights. You can lock here or unlock, lock the rear, all power windows. This is also single glazed. You can adjust the power windows. They fold when you lock the car unlock. So the carpet there, aluminum doorstep, memory seats, lumbar, back forward, up and down for the knee area for the whole seat. And over here for the tilt. These are black seats, you can get those green. This is gonna be extended. Okay, bolsters bigger on the top, beautiful. There you can see the Peugeot logo. Sport paddles, we're gonna pop the bonnet at the end. You can press twice to open or lock the rear, the charging and fuel cap. Steering column is, of course, manually adjustable. Quick look at the point of view. So you can see that. And voila, I'm just gonna be fast here, zooming back in. Sports steering wheel, flat top and bottom, GT line. Have the 3D cockpit there, you can change views. Electric 3D maps, it looks gorgeous. And you can see the electric range. You can of course customize the personal uh, press here for those views. Evans, focal speakers. This is the same, this is soft focal there. And uh, you can see the glove compartment. Nice flint inside, it's nice and long. You can see that. Block the light. Now, new infotainment, again, as seen in the 308. Uh, it's very responsive. So we have different apps here. Uh, there's a home menu, you have massage options, and that's it. Applications, have plenty of them. So if you wanna see that in detail, check my uh, 308. The shortcuts here for all of these and climate controls, hazards, you can see them through the mirrors. And AC start stop, wireless QI charger on the top, park reverse neutral drive, B4 recuperation. And the total outlet down there with the USB C for media. Another place there with a nice light. Driving modes, sport, hybrid, and electric. And there's a cover here for the cup holders, the rubberized and adjustable electronic parking brake no auto hold no place for your phone this is nicely soft you can press here to open there's another usb-c here illuminated this is rubber mat there's an, actually another total battery underneath this and this is here not to squash your cables again the seats are comfortable uh checking on the front so i think this is yeah this is the lowest position now this is really low so plenty of headroom as you can see uh, maybe a big problem. I don't have to go this way. Backs for the rear passengers if I go all the way down. Okay, um, showed you that. Baseless mirror has auto dimming. Passenger information uh, for the seatbelt there and airbag. Uh, touch lights. You can open the roof or close it. Uh, there's a shade as well. Emergency call uh, road assistance. And a documents holder, beauty mirror there. This does not extend, so it's fixed. 
and voila this is the view it's supposed to be a little bit from the top you can see the hood good overview for the side mirrors and even on the back it's a little bit narrow but uh, it ain't that bad uh, this new thing is really fast and I love the car uh, more cargo space uh, it looks pretty good uh, it looks the same on the front as the 308 but uh, it is definitely uh, better looking than the uh, excuse me more practical than the 308 um, sorry last video I'm doing uh, on a car show up here from uh, 6 in the morning now to open uh, let's see here it is on the left side of the 408 you can see the pure tech petrol the new thing is your washer fluid uh, you have to use a little leg if you want to keep it open uh, let it drop and uh, another view gorgeous looking you see it on the white light so first was some sort of a night view and you can see the uh, LED headlights let me just show you the LED taillights before they kick me out out of the car show so it looks it looks amazing tell me what you think how do you like it I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure some people are not gonna like it there's always different tastes I'm gonna like the 308 more and for the end just to show you the hazards below you can see that There we go, that was the new 408. And let's check the spec for the end. So 408 GT hybrid rechargeable 225 horsepower. horsepower. Uh, you can see the price, base price 51,400 euros. Options on this model are 8,700 euros. Comes up to 60,000 euros, bit pricey though. Um, so equipment. Uh, this is the max speed 233, 0 to 107.8 seconds. Um, VLTP range 62 kilometers electric. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's all in French. Uh, cargo space 471 liters. And um, I think, um, no, that's not, not liters. Anyways. You can see the colors blue, gray, black, white, and red. There's no English, so it is what it is. If you want to see more from Paris Auto Show? Subscribe and see the other cars. Thanks for watching. Bye.